Okay, we're back. What we've done is uh, we've uh, let Blue Track do what Blue Track was designed to do, in that it's it was designed to be flexible. So it uh, when we cut out this two foot section, uh, it lets the track slope down like it like it was designed to do. And uh, so basically, what we've done is we've added 15 percent to the length of the Blue Track, which is now a little bit over seven feet. This race will be this will be a little over seven feet. This one will still be at six. And since we've added the length, we thought we well first thing we'll do is is verify that we can truly still get still get it to work. So uh, we're going to test these two and see what happens. And uh, looks like uh, the gray car won there. We'll switch them around. See what happens here. And the white car one. So uh, there may be a little variation in our track, but uh, for for the time being, we'll put the white car on the blue track, and we'll put the the gray car on the traditional system, and we'll let them go. And obviously, the white one won one handily, and we can do this absolutely all day. It isn't going to make any difference. But we'll switch them. We'll put the we'll put the white car on the traditional system and the gray track or the gray car on the on the blue track system and the gray car one one handily. So the reason for this is is really has everything to do with physics in that uh, gravity has the least effect on an object falling or ascending or descending in a linear plane where with blue track it's uh, it allows us to take the natural curve and since it's so thick, it, it handles the transition from one plane to the next very efficiently, so you don't you don't lose a lot of your energy when when changing planes. So uh, there are many many more physics questions that you can you can do. So we're going to go on to the next question, but hopefully that answers uh, some of your questions. Thanks.